Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. Tonight I am watching a Halloween classic that somehow I never wanted to watch. <laughs> Just the name of it is super gross. It's called Beetlejuice. I obviously have heard of Beetlejuice. I know he wears striped pants. And isn't there some kind of chant like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, count two, three, come and... I don't know. I don't even know the actor who plays it. I don't know who's in it. I don't know what decade it's from. I just know that there's a lot of pop culture references for it that I've probably missed all these years. And that it seems very Halloween-y. So yeah, I'm finally gonna watch Beetlejuice. I think I'm excited. It's horror comedy. So I feel like that's something I could get behind, maybe. Remember, if you want to check out Blank Reactions, Early Access, vote on the polls, you can check out my Patreon here. If you can't do that, no worries. It's helpful if you like and subscribe, and I would super appreciate it. Okay, let's watch Beetlejuice. Does Beetlejuice have a theme song? I just keep wanting to do the Adams Family theme song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I did not know it was Tim Burton. He's definitely got a recognizable style. Does that mean Johnny Depp is in this? Alec Baldwin. Gina Davis. What do I know her from? A League of Their Own? Winona Ryder's in this too? She likes her horror. Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice? Michael Keaton, was he a Batman way back when? And also in the movie Jack Frost? Sorry, I'll stop doing that. Oh, I hate spiders so deeply. There's Alec Baldwin. This must be old. Happy vacation, honey. Mm -hmm. Manchurian tongue oil. There's enough here to do the whole table and the bureau. Nah. Happy vacation? Oh, got it. I'm so glad we're spending our vacation at home. Hey, where are you going? Wow. <laughs> Aw, I want presents when I go on vacation. <laughs> Oh, look how cute they are. I'm glad I caught you. I heard you were on vacation. It's right, Jane. It's 6.45 in the morning. This offer is real. Don't send people photos of our house. What is this? A realtor? This house is too big for you. It really ought to be for a couple. With a family, you know? Oh, Pumpkin, I didn't mean anything. I'll see you in a few weeks. I was just telling Barbara about this offer on the house. No, Jane. Um, <laughs> This is, seems very happy and pleasant. Jane says we should sell the house to someone with a family. You could try again on this vacation, you know? Really? Oh, I can't have babies. You need a, a haircut for your vacation? No, thanks, Bill. Crosman built that foundation in 1835. <laughs> Goddamn shoulders. He says to me, <laughs> see you later, up fast. Is that his store? Right. Or he just put money in the till and no one was there and very trusting people. Are you sure you wouldn't rather go to Jamaica? It's a real place like her. Look at Did anybody see? They're, they're okay though, right? Wasn't a very long fall. Perfect start to our vacation. They're okay. remember how we got back up here? I'm gonna go back down to the bridge and retrace our steps. Wait a second. They didn't die, are they ghosts? <gasps> what is going on? I have to show you something. And there's that. Handbook for the recently diseased. Deceased. <laughs> no, I don't think we survived the crash. Can you give me the basics? This book reads like stereo instructions. Functional perimeters vary from manifestation to manifestation. Uh. Oh, at least they're together. I think we're about to meet Beetlejuice. Let's see, business section. No, they did die. A couple. I can't clean anything properly. The vacuum's out in the garage and we can't leave the house. 
Why don't they tell us something? Why is it just you and me? Maybe this is heaven. He's cute. Heaven, there wouldn't be dust on everything. <laughs> hey, Jane, up here! In the book, rule number two, the living usually won't see the dead. Usually. Bob, honey, I don't think we have very much to worry about anymore. She just sold their house. Oh, this is great. Good, sturdy country craftsmanship. This is who bought their house. It's like the others. I think that's Home Alone, lady. Oh my gosh! She's so young. What do you think, honey? I could live here. Ten minutes. I'm already perfectly at ease. <laughs> I like this guy. Oh, that's the principal from... So few clients are able to read my mind. We just have to pray the other closets are bigger than this one. Can they not see that? <laughs> I know what you two are up to. Oh, honey, this is not working out at Charles, all. Charles, I will not stop living and breathing art. I must express myself. Oh, they're artists. And this guy is just using her to make a buck. I would get her. <laughs> so? What's on the third floor? Oh, I forgot to lock the attic door. Did you feel something? How does that not scare them? Ghosts of the people who died in this house and they want us out of here. I cannot watch this. <laughs> Ew. What's the good of being a ghost if you can't frighten people away? I'm not putting up with this. Barbara, you don't know what's out there. Pull her back. I do not like this thought. That this is what happens when we die. This is absurd. What trapped in this house? Find out a stroke from the amount of MSG. <laughs> this is our first meal in this house, so why don't we all do our little private parts to make it a pleasant one? As soon as we get settled, we'll build you a dark room in the basement. My whole life is a dark room. <laughs> first, the house. I think we should keep it the way it is. I Good agree. Idea. Furniture truck is coming. We're gonna have to decide what goes and what stays. Everything goes, along with whatever's in the attic. Is that where the mo his model is? Is that what they don't want him seeing in the attic? Is there an index or something? What's this? Why are there only three sculptures? Where's the fourth? Where's the fourth sculpture? Please let me see her sculptures again. Betelgeist, the bio exorcist. Is that the problem and not the solution? Call Betelgeist. Betelgeist. Betel. That's it. Mm -hmm. Sauce. I feel like she would be the kind of girl to see. What happened to the people who used to live here? They drowned. I was devastated. Here, that key will open any door in the house. I single-handedly decorated that house. You sold them out, Jane. Don't worry, I locked the door. Bio life exorcist. I got demons running all through me. Come on down here and see it. You get a free demon possession with every exorcism. He wants money? What, what do they pay with? Say it once. Say it twice. Third time the charm. I saw her in the lady. Come on down out. I read something in this book this morning. In case of emergency, draw a door. Draw a door. Draw a door. Hey, maybe we should try that beetle guy. Knock three times. <gasps> I don't like this. Be careful! <laughs> it would be so devastating watching someone just... Dad! Can't you see I'm relaxing in here? Maybe you can relax in a haunted house, but I can't. I thought she would like if it was haunted. Bizarre. What do you want? We need some help. 
You just bit the big one two months ago and you want help. Two months? What does that have to do with it? You spend 125 years on Earth. You get only three Class 1D90 intercessions for Juno. You'll have to wait if you don't have an appointment. Number 54 million, 601. Why do they look so normal compared to those guys? Is it a model of the town? You want a cigarette? Oh no, thank you. I'm trying to cut down myself. <laughs> Why are they the only humans? Is this what happens when you die? This is what happens when you die. That is what happens when he dies. It's all very personal. If I knew then what I know now, I would have had my little accident. <laughs> Maitland, party two. Who even thinks of this? All new arrivals report to waiting room number eight. I don't know. Fine, look fine. Thanks, I've been feeling a little flat. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on. That's the lost souls room. Ghosts that have been exorcised. Good devils. It's all on the handbook. So they've been dead for two months, but haven't finished the handbook. Boy, this place just gets weirder and weirder. We're home. Look at this place. How long do you suppose we were waiting there? Three months. I'd almost given up on you. Three months? Are you Juno, our caseworker? Yes. We're very unhappy. We want to get rid of the people who have moved in here. These people. <laughs> the intermediate chapter on haunting says it all. Get them out yourselves. On haunting. We don't quite get it. Tore your faces right off. It obviously doesn't do any good to pull your heads off in front of people if they can't see you. You should have been studying those lessons since day one. This is very stressful, dying. What about that guy in the flyer, you know, Beetle? You don't want his help. He was my assistant, but he was a troublemaker. They don't seem like rule breaker people. In fact, I believe he's been sleezing around your cemetery lately. The only way he can be brought back is by calling his name three times. How do we contact you if we need you again? Hey, come here. Is this in the model? Come here. Have I not always made you money? Nobody made me money like you. These people don't know the value of their property. I can buy the whole town. All right, Charles. It's just that I am kind of busy here. Uh, just a minute, Max. Just... They're haunting. So the idea is you die and you just keep living in your house forever? What if you died alone? Oh. Jeez, Lydia, is Connecticut so boring? Is this what we've been reduced to, sheets? Think of them as death shrouds. Death shrouds. And the shrouds. morning is important. Oh. <laughs> Cut it out! Oh. Do that weird sexual stuff. Do it in your own bedroom. No feet. <gasps> Can she see them? What do you look like under there? Are you gross under there? You know, if I had seen a ghost at your age, I would have been scared out of my wits. You can see us without the sheets. I read through that handbook for the recently deceased. Live people ignore the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. You look like a regular girl to me. You read our book. You could follow it. Yeah, why were you guys creeping around in Delia's bedroom? We were trying to scare your mother. You can't scare her. She's sleeping with Prince Valium tonight. <laughs> you did this? You carved all these little houses and things? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so tender. Why do you want to scare everybody? Well, we wanted to frighten you so you would move out. <laughs> this is amazing. <sighs> why is she not scared? What if this is a dream? Can you guys do any tricks to prove I'm not dreaming? Pull off your face again. <laughs> you're telling me we have ghosts in this house. Those are pictures of ghosts. I told them you were too mean to be afraid. Don't you dare speak to others about me. <laughs> the only thing that scares me is being embarrassed, so let's play family just for tonight. Hmm? Didn't work. Someone's haunting them. It's him. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Go ahead, Barbara, say it. Beetlejuice. Oh, <gasps> just like that. What happened? I think we're in the model. They didn't even talk about it first. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, I'm not gonna say it again. Well, where is he? What do we do? Looks like we dig, Barbara. 
they're in the model, he probably wants to explore. Oh, it's about time. Relationship really solid. Do I have a shot at her at all? Am I overstep my bounds? Just tell me. You two kids pick me. It makes me want to kiss you guys. Come on. Come no. On. Give me one. Ah, give me my one. I beg your pardon. I got a card around here somewhere. Here, hold that for me, would you? <laughs> Learn to throw your voice. Fool your friends. Fun and party. We just want to get some people out of our house. Ah, in order to do that, I'm really going to have to get to know you guys. So he's a ghost too? What are your qualifications? I've seen The Exorcist about 167 <laughs> times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time! Oh my gosh! Can you be scary? What do you think of this? <laughs> I like it. Excuse us, please. Talk amongst yourself. Adam, let's go! Oh, yeah. yeah. Excuse me? What? We are leaving now. Come on! We even shop at the same store! <laughs> what? A psycho! What do I have to do to strike a deal with you two, huh? Yeah! Don't you hate it when that happens? Let's go, Barbara. Home, yes. home, home! Barbara, how did you do that? Where'd you go? Hey. Can he get big too? I'm not exposing that little girl to that pervert down there. I think we can scare them off ourselves tonight. Uh oh. I feel like he's not going anywhere once you call him. So? Mm -hmm. You're that good. Mm. Look at her hair. I was one of New York City's leading paranormal researchers. Paranormal? Is that what they're calling your kind these days? She's still upset because somebody dropped a house on her sister. <laughs> I saw some ghosts. <gasps> I am sick of that subject. I would rather talk about my sculptures. Oh, cute, Delia. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're making them sing Deo? <laughs> How are they controlling all of them at the same time? <laughs> what in the world? How are they doing this? Why can't Lydia see them? <gasps> Any minute now, they're gonna come running out of that door screaming. Any minute now. I would. You did good. I want you to come downstairs. Celia says you can wear any sheets you want. I didn't even know I could do the Calypso. Who <laughs> has more fun than us? People will pay big money for this, right, What? Chris? The Inquirer is offering $50,000 for proof of life after death. Damn! They don't want to come down. Charles. <laughs> David. <laughs> they were trying to scare you away and you didn't get scared. All right. This was not a hallucination. This was real. You are a flake. If you insist on frightening people, do it with your sculpture. Oh, burn. Open this door, you dead people, or we'll bust it down and we'll drag you out by the She's so you scary. They are gonna need Beetlejuice. I think we scared them away, so let's just leave them alone, all right? It's the whole damn town. No ghosts here. We're leaving now. You can go about your business. Hmm? <gasps> He's stealing their book. We can turn this place into the world's leading supernatural research center and amusement park. What is wrong with people? Why don't you just leave them alone? They didn't do anything to you. <gasps> oh! We come for your daughter, Chuck. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Ew, ew, ew. Why are you doing this? Leave me alone. Oh, she trusted them. How dare you hear the professional always pushing? I don't want to do business with you deadbeats anyway. The only one I think I can deal with is that growling pole daughter. You leave her alone, you. <laughs> I'm so, so creeped out by him. He is a little pervert, too. <laughs> I do not understand this. I know I'm trying to make sense of something that is not sensible. The horror house was my idea. I want Beetlejuice out of the picture. Oh, you two have really screwed up. 
You allowed yourself to be photographed. You let Beetlejuice out and didn't put him back. You let Otho get hold of the handbook. Coach, where's the men's room? I'm not your coach. He survived. But you get out of here. Men's room. Are you kidding? I'm not sure that this is the right environment for Lydia. Snakes? Ghosts? Shrimp. <sighs> I am alone. So these people are just okay with ghosts in their house. By the time you read this, I will be gone. No! Having jumped, Mama did. What are you going to do? To scare them. I'll go first, honey. I've seen that as a Halloween costume. And this. You look great. <laughs> Mrs. Maitland? They're gone. Split out of here. Are you a ghost too? I'm the ghost with the most, babe. Maybe you could, maybe you could help me get out of here. I don't want to get in. But you know, in order to do that, you've got to say my name three times. What's your name? Uh, I can't tell you. Why not? He's not allowed to say it? Two words. First word, two syllables. She's just talking to a miniature creepy man. Hi, how are you? A beetle. Uh, Beetlejuice? Yeah. My name's Beetlejuice. It's just say it once Don't more. do it. It was you, wasn't it? The snake. Just say it. Don't say it. Uh, Thank you. I want to talk to Barbara. No, put your faces back. Barbara, honey, it's too late. We have to go through with this. <laughs> Adam, I want to be with Lydia. Put your faces back. Say it! No! no. 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 It's us, Beetlejuice. He told me that if I let him out, he would take me to the other side to find you. We're dead. I want to be dead, too. No. No. Being dead really doesn't make things any easier. This is something we know a lot about. Don't look at him. You can come up here and visit us anytime you want. Oh. We're going to invite you and your family to stay. That's right, Lydia. <laughs> so big. How are we going to get it out? Yeah. That's such <gasps> Get it both in. What's going on? Don't go find out. Be careful. She's like the daughter they never had. Charles, we're here to see some ghosts. Oh, my God. They're not here. This is in the Hands back. vermilion. Start a fire. Let now the dead come alive. <gasps> it worked? Barbara? Barbara? Oh, no. Barbara? How come it only worked on her? Stop it! Buried, dead, and slain. Wait! <gasps> no! She's gonna be in the Lost Souls! Ghosts who've been exercised upon or whatever. Stop them, Lydia! She's gonna have to call Beetlejuice. Help them, please. I can help. You gotta help me. There's the stripes. I want out for good. In order for me to do that, I gotta get married. Say it, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's hurry. Okay, just help them. Oh. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Oh boy. Attention, Game Boy shoppers. Are they honestly excited about this? <gasps> that is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. Get him! Save him! Get out the maintenance. <sighs> it's so weird to see him like that. He's... Does she really have to marry him? We're gonna need witnesses. Oh, her sculptures. They're coming alive. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Do you take this woman to be your wedded 
life. I mean, I always said if I ever did it, I was gonna do it once, and that was it. <laughs> sure, yeah. What? No! Oh. Yes, I love that man of mine. <laughs> How do you feel? <gasps> Say it faster! You say it, Lydia! No! This is so stupid! <laughs> oh my gosh! I now pronounce you yeah, yeah. Man and Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look how cute she is. Mom! Did you get the paints? Yes, and I took pictures of the new town hall for you too. And how about the math test? We spent the whole week studying for that test. I got an A. So can I? Come on. Can she what? I suppose. What is happening? Women. Hey, there goes Elvis! Well, looks like I'm next. Hey, stop it! Hey, you're messing up here! Stop it! This is beyond. That's that's. Oh my heavens! Wow. Um, I realized about three quarters of the way through that I needed to stop trying to make sense of this super over the top, crazy. It was like Tim Burton was just like, yeah, and then we'll pull his face back. Oh, and then put like a guy with a shrunken head. Like any just like idea that popped into his head, he just made it happen somehow. So good for him, but also so, so ridiculously, I don't want to say stupid, but kind of stupid. <laughs> like what? And can I just say? a very depressing view of the afterlife if it's like this stuck in red tape government thing that just oh my gosh I mean I think like the makeup and um, prosthetics and stuff were probably super advanced at that time and they looked really good especially when they were like turning into those lost souls and like I like the idea of this cute sweet country couple just you know being dead and trying to figure out this life and then they're chopping each other's heads off trying to haunt people by singing Deo <laughs> and it totally backfires. I think the idea is really fun I just I guess it was just very different than what I was expecting just like a screwball kind of crude horror. I still don't really understand much of went on but I really don't understand like what he was and why he was in the miniature house and he had to get married. They did really didn't explain much, which Tim's Burton mind is a very bizarre place and that gets with Beetlejuice. But I can finally understand those costumes with the little eyes and the Ugh But I probably will never say Beetlejuice three times. Probably just did in this outro. And you know what? He was actually not in it very much, which is kind of weird. I mean, I think Michael Keaton was good, but I feel like other people, I feel like Jim Carrey could have done that. Like, I don't know if he, I don't know. Winona Ryder was actually really good, I thought. Better than she was in Dracula. <laughs> it was so silly and over the top, but I don't know that that will be a Halloween classic for me moving forward but at the same time maybe it's one of those ones you need to watch over and over again to appreciate i think if i would have watched this as a teenager with popcorn with a lot of friends it could have been a little bit different experience anyways i can now say that i've seen beetle i'm gonna say it it was okay thanks for watching along with me 
and I hope to see you guys again soon.